and welcome to Bridie Varnish. My name is Sheila and yes, I did get a haircut. Um, I decided it was a little bit of a time for a change. It was really long and dry towards the end and so I decided to just chop it all off and the last time I had bangs like this was way back in 2011, 2012 when my husband and I started dating and so I figured you know what I think it's long overdue for me to start wearing bangs again now that I don't have to put my hair up so much because my baby is now 18 months old so I have a little bit of time but yeah speaking of dry hair I also have really dry skin and so today we are doing a topic to stay prompt and that is best hand creams. I actually already had this thought of doing um, hand creams, like a video on hand creams for the winter, but since, you know, it's it, it got kind of bolted into the topic Tuesday for the month, um, I decided to just go ahead and do it now. So I always have hand creams with me everywhere I go for a variety of reasons. First of all, my skin is so dry and flaky. It's drier than the Sahara Desert. Um, I can't really wear any matte foundations, anything like that. I suffer from um, plaque psoriasis, which makes my skin super flaky and just super dry. And also, I work in healthcare. Um, I'm actually a nurse, and when I used to work at the bedside taking care of patients, I would use a lot of hand sanitizers and constantly wash my hands. And that really destroyed my hands. Like, admittedly, I don't have the most beautiful hands. Um, they're wrinkled, they're dry all the time. And so one of the reasons why I actually started getting into nail polish was to kind of make sure that something motivates me to take care of my hands. Also, I lived in New York City for about a, a little bit over a decade. And so, you know, commuting to the subway, without gloves, which is really, you know, like not the best decision, but you know, when you're in a hurry and stuff. So I was always constantly commuting, always, you know, subject to the harsh weather conditions in the winter. And then now I live upstate where the winters are even worse. Like we, I actually live in one of the snowiest regions um, in the planet actually and so it's it's just been brutal. It's brutal. So I have lotions and hand creams Constantly everywhere I go. There's one in my office. There's one in my room There's one in my every purse I have. It's just crazy hand creams and lotions. I can't live without So I decided I kind of have um, My thoughts on this and today I'm gonna give you five of probably the best hand creams that I can recommend to you guys and we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the first hand cream I'm gonna talk about is the Shikai Hand and Body Lotion and I don't have anything with me right now because this is an empty for me and I already threw out the packaging because I don't you know keep I didn't really think ahead and I just I just threw it out. It's been quite a while, I think. But so I'm going to put a picture um, of the actual lotion somewhere on here on the screen. And this was a gift given to me by my husband's cousin for Christmas about two years ago. And I never used it as a body lotion, just, a, as, just as a hand lotion. And it actually lasted me about two years, actually. It was really, you know, a little goes a long way and it's wonderful. And so I have my phone here with me. I'm just gonna do a, like, sheet, sort of I'm gonna read to you the description of this thing. I'm also gonna link down below where you can purchase this. I guess Whole Foods carried this for a while and now Amazon has it, but it's an amazing lotion. I'm gonna tell you all about why I really love this one as a hand cream. So I'm just gonna read from the website why or what's in it that makes it so amazing. So it says, the secret is a high concentration of pure aloe vera and vitamin E to soothe sensitive skin 
luxurious shea butter to provide a soft and silky feeling and clinically proven borage, is that what it is? Borage oil to deliver moisture and relief to dry skin. So it has aloe, borage oil, shea butter. It has no animal ingredients. So for all my vegan friends, this is gonna be perfect for you. No animal testing and it's formulated and made in California. And the reason why I love this particular lotion so much is A, I think it's really at an affordable price. Um, number two, it feels so good on the hands. It's not greasy at all. It absorbs really quickly. I really feel like every time I apply it, I don't feel a residual where I just kind of put lotion on. And that's one of the reasons why I love this lotion as a hand cream. I would put it on and it's not even there. I don't notice it, but it moisturizes my hands so well. And a little goes a long way. I think it's great to just have around the house or even in your purse, because it's a pretty big package. Um, it's, it's really wonderful. So I highly recommend Shikai Hand and Body Lotion. The second hand cream that I really, really like and that is constantly on rotation for me is the L'Occitane um, hand creams that come in packages like this. I'm gonna just put that up and see if that focuses. I'm not sure if that focuses, but yeah. So um, usually you get like a pack of five or something like that. And I don't really even know the price point, but they have a lot of different scents on this one. My favorite is just their plain shea butter. It's also really luxurious, really moisturizing. I really feel like every time I put it on, like it truly, truly absorbs and it takes away all the flakiness and all the dryness from my skin. So I've gone through I don't even know how many packages and everybody knows I love these little things so they constantly give it to me for Christmas like Santa always puts this on my stocking every Christmas so I'm really happy and like so I think I just finished one tube and now I'm starting this one and it's just an absolutely fabulous hand cream um if you know, I think L'Occitane is everywhere in malls, uh, in the malls of America, so you can easily get this, and I highly, highly recommend this hand cream. So, the third hand cream that I can recommend is one that I used a lot when I was working at the hospital, and this is something that you can easily get from the pharmacy, and this is the Gold Bond hand cream. What I love about this hand cream is that, um, it doesn't have any alcohol in it. And I actually used to use the one with a hand sanitizer formulation, which I think they discontinued. But the Gold Bond hand cream is still really one of the best in the market. Whenever I have like rotten, rotten hands, and believe me, I've had rotten hands, like bleeding and cracking and just gross looking hands. Gold Bond is really my go-to hand cream for it to heal quickly and efficiently and it's just an amazing, amazing hand cream. So working hands, if you're constantly, you know, washing your hands, constantly washing dishes, Gold Bond, I'm telling you, is the best hand cream you can get from the pharmacy or from the grocery store. And I don't have anything with me right now because again, I finished that whole bottle, but I will um, post a picture somewhere on the screen and I will link down below where you can get it. So the fourth hand cream that I can recommend is actually a little bit of an accident. I found it um, at TJ Maxx or Marshalls or one of those discount stores one year and I actually got it for my husband. And this is Gentleman's Hardware Hand Salve. So I don't know if you can see it, there you go. It's Gentleman's Hardware and I got this for my husband because you know, it was I think the holidays again. I just went through TJ Maxx and I figured, oh, my husband also works in healthcare so he needs a lot of, 
hand lotion and hand creams too so i got this from him and he didn't like it i don't think as much because it's definitely greasy um i don't know if you can see the consistency but look at this bottle this bottle's almost gone and it definitely feels like a petroleum jelly type situation so it's greasy but this is what i use when I need to really deeply moisturize my hands. So what I do is I would put this um, on my hands and then put white gloves, white 100% cotton gloves on my hands um, and sleep with it. Like, so I would put it on at bedtime and then I would sleep, you know, with this and the gloves and then wake up in the morning and my hands just feel so moisturized and so healed because honestly there's a lot of healing going on with my hands this is a, a lot of this is not preventative like I, my hands really get crazy crazy rotten when it comes to the winter time and stuff so this is what i found to be one of the more effective ones I'm sure probably you could use Aquaphor, but just for me, I figured I have this, he's not using it. So I figured I'd use it and it's just been so effective for me. So again, this is Gentleman's Hardware Hand Salve. And then the last but not the least hand cream I'm gonna be showing you today is my priciest one. This is Aesop. Resurrection Aromatique Hand Balm and I'm gonna put a picture um, on the screen somewhere because again I just finished this hand cream. This hand cream was given to me by my dear mother who likes luxurious, bougie, expensive things and so this is just, I mean, the smell of this is just absolutely amazing. I used to carry this around work and everybody would say, oh my God, what's that smell? It smells so glorious. So I'm trying to find here what, um, what the ingredients are, but there's a lot of like essential oils, aromatic oils. I think they have different, um, not flavors, but they have different scents too. But the one that I have has um, cedar wood, which is like, I'm also very much into essential oils, so I love the smell of cedar wood. It has cedar wood, it has lavender, shea butter, cocoa, orange oil, grapefruit extract. I mean, this is just coconut oil, macadamia seed oil, mandarin orange. Um, it's just, it's just phenomenal, phenomenal hand cream. So of course it is, let me see the price. Um, the 2.5 ounce of this hand cream is $30. And so I think the bigger one, the 17 ounce jar is $97. So um, this is something that you would probably put on your wish list. Like if you have someone who likes to give you luxurious gifts and nice gifts, you know, like luxury things, I would highly recommend asking for this. <laughs> like, so I'm like not telling you to buy it. No, you can buy it, obviously, if you have the budget for it. But um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful hand cream. And I, I probably, you know, if I save enough money on a no buy or a low buy, I'll probably splurge for it again. But um, yeah, it's it's pricey, but I can't not say it because it's one of my favorite, favorite hand creams that I've ever had to, the pleasure of trying. And it's, it's just wonderful. And yeah, that's it. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and for being here with me to chat about hand creams, which is also, I think, part of anything and everything nail polish. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification button. Let me know if you guys have any go-to hand creams that you would like to share with me. I'm always trying new hand creams. Right now, I'm actually loving, loving, loving this, um, the mango shea butter that Maniology um, 
has in their Manny and Me box. It's amazing. I love it. It's made in Hawaii. I just don't have it with me right now, but I'll probably post a picture or a link. And that's, you know, I can't really say it's my favorite yet because I'm still, I literally just got it last week, but definitely I'm already enjoying it. Um, yeah, so if you have any hand creams that you would like to share, that would be awesome. Comment down below and I hope you all have a good rest of your week. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs> so this is a bonus recommendation. He wanted to recommend his favorite hand cream. So I'm going to give this stage to Mr. Variety Varnish. Hello world. <laughs> I'm here to give you my perspective on some of the best hand cream I've ever used. Now I've gone through a lot of hand creams in my life. We've gone through Vaseline's, lotion base, cream base. But lately I've been using O'Keeffe's Working Hands for working hands. That's it. Now, no it's not it. Now, a little bit goes a long way. It provides you with the necessary protection for those who wash their hands frequently. And also, now that we're entering winter, it's going to be very useful for those cool dry climates. Those with high winds. Those with a severe cold. Or if you just want to have nice feeling hands, I would recommend this. Two to three times per day. Can't go wrong. I'm going to also link that down below um, so you can get more information on his recommendation. I personally don't use this um, hand balm, hand cream because we have different tastes. If she was into this as much as her nail polish, we'd have thousands of bottles of these. So. <laughs> I'm very happy that I'm the only one who uses oh my goodness. Oh, keeps working hands. All right. Well, Thank I you. hope you enjoyed right. that. And uh, he's ridiculous. I'm so sorry, guys. He just wanted to be in this video. All right. Bye.